After about a decade of absolute freedom and almost unrestricted creativity on the internet, especially on social media, where everyone enjoyed the vast resources available to the user often for free, a new decade has introduced significant changes to, for major online platforms. The concept of fair use in Romania, for example, is very little discussed and even less understood. That is why we explain how you can use content without infringing on copyright. Caught somewhere between the terms and conditions, on one hand, is respect for the right to free expression, on the other hand, is cancel culture and the growing popularity of influencers. Between user autonomy and profit from targeted ads, freedom on the online environment has arrived amongst the most controversial topic of discussion. While some of the above issues involve discussion of morality and ethics, without always having a general answer, the area of intellectual property rights remain in a relatively stable legislative framework, with well-defined rules both online and offline. It's very important to know what copyright is, as well as what content you can use and in what form, without infringing copyright. Why do we need to respect copyright? The long answer to this question focuses on respecting the autonomy and creativity of another user. Anyone who is active on the online environment is more or less a content creator, whether you post an artistic photo from Instagram, or do a tutorial on YouTube, create illustration or memes. Any type of content that has a dose of originality can be protected by copyright. Thus, just as you would not agree for someone to take over the drawing that you worked so hard on for hours without your consent, to claim that he owns it and to make money from it, possibly even to fight against the cost. In the same way, other content creators should not be discouraged from imagining new artwork for fear of it being taken over illegally. How can you use the content on the internet without infringing copyright? The copyright holder of a work, usually the author of the work, but sometimes it could be another person, such as the employer in such a situation, see Article 3 of Law No. 8-1996 in Romania, has the exclusive patrimonial right to decide whether, in how, and when his work will be used, including consent to the use of the work by others, Article 12. Thus, the following actions performed in respect of a particular protected work may be lawfully undertaken only by the author or by another person who has obtained the express consent of the author. You have rights when you want to use the content of others. However, the law only allows some activities that can be legally undertaken without the prior consent of the author. For this, however, it is necessary to comply with the following criteria. The work must have been published. A creation distributed to a private group is not made public. You must act, you must act accordingly to good manner. Do not exploit the work more than necessary, and do not harm the author or copyright holder. The copyright is borne by the simple act of creation of the respective work, without other registration requirement. The work of an intellectual creation is recognized and protected regardless of bringing it to public knowledge by the simple fact of its realization even in its unfinished form. Romanian Law No. 8-1996 mentions in Article 1, Paragraph 2. Except for a few special cases that need to be registered, for example, commercially used software, there is no copyright register in which you can check whether a particular work is protected or not. That is why it is important to know the copyright rule and follow them exactly. 